so I might have taken the plunge. No pun intended. It's uh, Skyward Sword HD again. Well, it's just Skyward Sword again, but the HD is different. Maybe this will be a full series, maybe not. I'm not sure yet, but let's dive right into it. Um, by the way, the Groose is loose. Lips. I should have named my Link Lip. Link, awaken. It's time for destiny. Take this, it's dangerous to go alone. Again, I will be speeding through a lot of this. Um, I do like the story, but it unfolds nicely through the cutscenes as well. Um, the reason is I just don't have the patience for a 40-hour game. I, th I don't think it's 40 hours, though. I, th I think with all the enhancements, I've, I've read that this it's like maybe 20 to 30 or something. So we'll see. So I'm trying to rotate the camera, but that's not working. Um, even when you hold the L button. Nice. Can you tell me, game, how many times... Uh, can you tell me like 45 times that that's worth 5 rupees? I like when they showed trailers and hype videos for this game's release. They were showing, like, that you can shut the game off load it, and it won't tell you how much a five rupee is, is worth. A five blue rupee. Alright, thanks for watching. That was Skyward Sword HD. I like uh, Link's lips. Hey! That'll be the end of that. Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice this morning, Link. Oh, you have someone to meet? Zelda's waiting for you, isn't she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Kabora, has a pet named Mia. She scampered off again. Link, you need to rescue Mia, and then collect 14 pumpkins of destiny. Then you need to shave my eyebrows even further. Then I need to teach you target practice with a bunch of womp rats using your T-16 Skyhopper. <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today at the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. Tell me it's just like the thing from something. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it. He said it's called a hop. <laughs> Look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself. We get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. So how do I look? Uh... Really? Oh, uh, you know, maybe it does look a little weird. Oh fuck, I feel bad now. I just gotta do a little bit of business here. Well, here he is. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain. What, with all the scratching and pecking? <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? To protect the world from devastation. But we got him. I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> the grass is lost. Whoa, Link, so, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? <laughs> it's your problem anyway. Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get your own time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> Well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. 
you might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? <laughs> Where's that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. <laughs> you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. You lay off my doom right now! Or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Did you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I actually played this at Comic-Con 2011, like a couple months before it came out. And I was like, yeah, these motion controls are fine. Wow, man, that was, that was a lot. Most disappointing demo I've ever played. No! No, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you. Okay. I'm good. I'm going to marry her. She's my wife. Yeah? Hey, Link, I was just looking for you. Or your locked wing has gone missing. I thought I'd join the search. Get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Oh, I'm sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Gross found out, I told you. It sounds like Gross forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Gross and his buddies came in. They they didn't notice I was there and started talking about their hot plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Gross and his gang grabbed me. They said if I told you, they'd make sure I'd never be able to ride a bird again. They're gonna come to fools. Isn't there a thing where you could, like, have a butterfly land on your sword? Or am I thinking of Ocarina of Time? Oh! Oh god, I gotta put this away. Can't be trusted with a sword. Look, there he is! No doubt about it, that's your loft wing, Link. <laughs> okay, that was not the input I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Oh, you can't do that. Never mind. I was trying to do, um, a spin slash, uh, vertical. I have birded my bird. It is out now. Hello, bird. I wouldn't mind a, a bird friend. <laughs> no. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start. They delay it for you? I don't get it. The big plank gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? But I don't think we haven't noticed. Don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. <clears throat> You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? <laughs> Gross has been going on forever about he's gonna be one of the one of, he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny cloud snatch that prize from me. 
Ah, uh, yes, the sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh. oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special little moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bruce. Bruce, behind you. Right behind you. Uh, what? What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... <gasps> oh! Mm -hmm. Care to explain what you meant by our sp just what you meant by our special little moment alone <laughs> i uh nothing big really just just link yeah i was just telling my buddy here i was glad he found that big red bird of his boy am i looking forward to a fair race anyhow later zelda uh, look for me during the race i'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves You have to jump off the statue. Look down, see that big round design in the courtyard below? Finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right to the center of it. <laughs> Zelda is adamant on killing Link. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. But where's the origin story of the creator, of Fi's creator? We need to go back even further. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. So yeah, next time I'll check out the bazaar. Get on a loft wing. Go down to the surface. Destroy a pumpkin or two. I don't know. Who, who knows, really? I mean, there's, there's so much potential. But first... Which Link am I? I'm the Link that drops my Joy-Con. Hello, welcome to the item check. Wanna put stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay, wanna take something out of storage? That's fine. So is there anything in your pouch and storage you wanna move? No? Oh, really? Great. Not like my time is worth anything. Who's better? Her or the Majora's Mask, um, peddler? Oh god, this dude. I never knew this dude's name. Calamitous- What calamitous vision appears before me? You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead of you. <laughs> These eyes! It's not Mallow, but it's- it's pretty good. I can foresee what will befall you, for I'm a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes, listen to my pure- an innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes. No! Where 
There you go. There's another 30. Speaking of spinning, I received a communication through my contact form, which people have been sending me lots of good Sunday-esque content. Lots of weird shit. Which is good. I want- I want that stuff. But, um... Goddess Plume. Okay. But I also... got a very interesting piece of wisdom I'd like to share with you. This music will help. To spin is divine. According to ancient Greek philosopher Plato, there are seven kinds of motion. Forwards, backwards, left, right, up, down, and finally spinning in place. The world soul and the human soul, Plato thought to participate in this last kind of motion which he therefore estimated to be the most divine. According to the ancient big brain man, spinliness is close to godliness, that is all. Thank you, Max, for that information. This one thing about this game that will always miff me is like, depending on how you hold the, um... either the Wiimote or the Joy-Con, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of bizarre Link poses while running around. Sorry to say, this this doesn't look as cool... ...as some of the other stuff that Link has done in his past. I mean, in his future. I mean, different Link. I was just thinking how far this is from Zelda 1. And why I think... I mean, I already understand why they went and... You know, went back to the drawing board and took heavy inspiration from Zelda 1 for Breath of the Wild. But... The just distinct lack of freedom and how linear this game is... It doesn't mean it's bad because Ocarina of Time kind of firmly established a formula. And I'm okay with the linearity as long as there's some freedom within that. I happen to think this game suffers in that regard because, um... Because the sky feels so empty. But as far as linear storytelling goes, the uh, 3D Zelda entries, they have their, their share of, of, like, you know, be free, explore. But it's nowhere near like Zelda 1, where you could approach dungeons in almost any order and go almost anywhere from the beginning. And and you have this, which which directly funnels you. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, I like this style of gameplay, and a lot of games that I consider my favorites of all time have this style of gameplay. That ass, though. She headed down that way towards the temple, but to be sure. Be sure to take great care. There's monsters. Oh, that was just in there. Right? Dollar bacon a month club. Every month you get one new dollar bacon for the narwhal. Alright? It only costs you five ninety nine per year, per day, per diem, for a new bacon per month. You get bacon that's a little soft, bacon that's really crispy, bacon that's kinda crispy, Bacon that's somewhere in the middle. Bacon that's extremely soft, barely cooked. You get bacon that's a little crispy, but also a little soft in some spots. You get soggy bacon. You get bacon... chuzzle. You get, uh, bacon crisps, bacon bits, bacon... blimps. DollarBaconAMonthClub.Cock. 
every time you get a new bacon, you earn points and rewards to give to your family, your friends. And then you can save 15% or more on your car insurance. But only if you have dollar bacon a month dot cock. regular skull. In the middle of combat, Link just stares at the skull. About to get fucking skewered. Stares at the skull with a big dopey smile on his face, and it's like, yeah, that's- that's Link. That's Link's character in a nutshell. That and bees. Enjoyment of game went up 100% after getting into dungeon. Not that I don't enjoy the Farron Wood segment. That was that was okay. I mean, it was also like extended tutorial as well. So it's it's starting off a little bit slow, but it was nice to have little puzzles to solve and combat finally. Um, but this is this is the good shit. Okay, I think I can actually kill this spider, but I need to do some fanciness. Ah, <sighs> fanciness. Yeah, I'm trying to stab. It's not registering my stabs. Yeah, that was a nightmare. Shit happens. Especially when you don't have a bunch of, you know, people telling you how to play the game and win. We used to call them backseaters back in my day, but now they're just called lifelines. They're where my brain cells have gone. Gonna do this perfectly this time. Whoa! That wasn't perfect. Hell yeah. Oh boy. Um, okay. Let's see if I can do this with a controller. Look who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. Just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. 
Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me. Being positively uncivil, allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world that you call the surface. You may call me Girahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title. Lord Girahim, but I'm not fussy. <laughs> Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed! <laughs> Still, it hardly seems fair, being of my position, to take all my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> the famous tongue scene. I forgot about that. Yum. God damn it. Also easier with Joy-Con this particular fight so far. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though. Then you're dead. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. We're just skating now? <laughs> Spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring, the other is known as the Earth Spring. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, every, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for the second sacred place.
How much do you think you could pawn this thing for? Get like seven Master Swords from that. So there was a post that someone made about a shop on Staten Island called Sonic's Exotics. Which has a really great logo. And I knew of it. It had its its logo, the, the plaza it's in was getting renovated. And uh it's even like the logo's even more amazing now. And so it got a little bit of traction. I was told about it. It's like, Vinny, you gotta check out the Sonic's Exotics place because, you know, it's, uh, it's cool and stuff. Or whatever. You know? And I'm just like... Dog, I, I live in Sonic's Exotics. Now, you may be wondering, what, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And I will show you in a minute. As soon as I can get into the shop. So, speaking of shop, it's a head shop. It, it sells weed-related prod products. You know, not actual, like, no, it's not weed. It's like legal, whatever's legal. That kind of stuff. Delta 8, 9, 10, um, CBD, CBT, CBG, B, and various other things. Um, and you know what? I went in there for the first time today. And I gotta say, it was a cool place. Here's this real picture of me at Sonic's Exotics. Now, the image in the middle is a Rastafarian dreadlocked Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. I don't know how they're getting away with this. Now, this is a real photo of me smiling. Definitely not put through an app. It is just, you know, real. Some people may think that is real, so I'm here to tell you now that that is 100% real. Nice room, Groose. Whoa! That's Link's face on a punching bag. The grass is lost. Oh, Zelda, where are you? Hey, Hotshot, don't think I don't see you flying in and out of town all the time. I know what you're up to. You're trying to make sure you find Zelda first, but it ain't gonna happen. Oh, this is the worst. Dude either buys pictures of feathers or paints pictures of feathers all day. Batman? Stop, please! I beg you, don't hurt me! Oh, goodness! I know how bad this must look to you right now, but assure you, I mean no harm! We were just playing the scream as loud as you can game! Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. Uh, my name is Batro. I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. As soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw and friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a waking nightmare. Walking nightmare. Oh, right, silly me. Oh, I've gotten ahead of myself. Oh, you see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. 
It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans pro provide us, produce a substance known as gratitude crystal. It, you can charge the gratitude crystals and get gratitude juice. Which makes your skin look young. They're quite amazing, just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. The moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather the gratitude crystals and show them to me? Hi. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time. I almost fell over the edge. He lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night. So I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Which further proves my point that we need, like, better guardrails or something here at Skyloft. Also, they, they have to know about this. They, they fly around with birds. They have to know about this little corner of Skyloft. You can't just, like... Have a little spot to yourself in Skyloft when everything is visible by bird nights. But yeah, some guardrails would be. I mean, look at this by the graveyard. What is that? Two feet, two and a half feet high? I'm telling you, kids could just fucking jump over the edge. They're gonna be. Even here, they're gonna just jump over. It's not that difficult. <laughs> Excuse me. To get yourself fucking killed in Skyloft. 65% of the region is covered in lava. Wood and fabric. Oh fuck, yeah, my shield is probably going to be um <laughs> the fucking noise. Good, good thing I, um... Good, good thing I brought a shield made of wood. Wow, that sucked. Wow, that continues to suck. Wow. All right. Doing so good at this video game today. Alright, cool. <laughs> Very good! Okay, now I have to, um... Shank some motherfuckers. Some- some dirty fucking motherfuckers. Uh, I don't know. I need to take my aggression out and frustration out on these bobo clines. Naruto! Did you see that shit? F 
fuck he was styling. That was even better than the shield snowboarding in Breath of the Wild. Which is therefore better than Legolas. I'm sure someone could make a meme out of that moment. Like there there's definitely some some kind of like meme music that can be put with that. Like, I guess what is it, drip? They call it the drip. I'm hip with the kids. Taka 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 taka. They have the drip and and the, the with the jacket with the drip and the boots with the fur. Still like struggling with the motion controls because as much as Nintendo wanted to recreate the feeling of throwing a bomb, there's just something abnormal about moving around with a thumbstick and then randomly having to switch to using your wrist to do something with precision. It's just there is never anything particularly natural about motion controls for me. Sometimes they were good, sometimes they could be a little innovative. It wasn't until VR where it made sense. At least in VR, you can see your hands. That was an accident. I, I would have probably not have found that. Because there was a big, like, I don't know, the, it's like a big smudgy texture. I couldn't tell if there was, like, a secret there. I, I really couldn't see if there was a bomb crack. Did I just discover... ...a long-lost secret that no one has ever discovered in this game? Am I the first? Nah. You, the goddess's chosen hero. Zelda is ahead, hurry. Oh. Watch out for Rupors. I love Rupors, thank you. Watch out for RuPaul, you might- <laughs> You might find one. You picked up a Rupor, that means you've lost 10 Rupees, and that's a little bit sad. You know what else is a little bit sad? Throat. Yo. Fuck! Uh. I'm sure they buried it around here someplace, but I can't find it. Yo, Led, this is the place, ain't it? Uh, so, what is it they buried again? Uh, a key! A key! K-E-Y! They busted up the key to that door and hid the pieces all over the place. I'm telling you, one of the five pieces is buried right behind here, around here. Hey, that reminds me, that strange blonde girl in the weird clothes got taken away too. That's right, I bet they got something real valuable stashed here, and the blonde girl took... Uh, that they took is part of the... Part of the this is our language! If there's one thing that uh, Twilight Princess did better than Skyward Sword, it's uh, volcano nipples. I have lived through the release of every Zelda game. I was alive for all of them, right? But I don't remember them that well. Because I was too young. Like, I remember getting Link to the Pasts sometime after it came out, but not knowing, like, the exact release date. You know, I didn't have, like, the video game magazines at the time. And then my aunt bought me the game, I think, or I got it for Christmas. It's hard to remember, because that equally could have happened for several other games. Link's Awakening was much the same. I don't remember how I got it, but I remember getting it, and... I was happy that I had it. I remember the commercial for it. The fucking thing projected onto the, the wall while, while some dude talked about it. Was there rapping? Oh wait, no, that was- that wasn't the US version. I don't know why I did that. But Ocarina of Time was a big deal, and I remember... ...how big a deal it was. 
and I remember exactly how that launch went and how I wasn't able to even get the game because it was sold out. And then I managed to find a gold copy, but that's that's a story and a half. I, I've I've gone into it, but essentially I um my mom was able to finagle something. And I was able to get the game. But it was it was uh you know, there was no guarantee I was going to have that game. And then I got it and I was very happy, but I remember the launch. I remember like it was a you know, the school that day was a nightmare. Trying to sit through my classes knowing that Ocarina of Time was about to be released and it was the first 3D Zelda game and it was getting amazing reviews, like 10 out of 10. The hype was fucking unreal for Ocarina of Time. You know what? It fucking delivered. And then some. But that was a hard day of school to make it through. And then it could, the details get hazy. I mean, I remember the, like, my, like, feelings about a lot of what I saw in that game, because a lot of that stuff we just hadn't seen. Like, Hyrule Field was considered, like, revolutionary at the time because of how massive it was. Now you look at it, it's like, what the fuck is there to do? Nothing to do, man! Not like Fortnite at all! But at the time, it was amazing. That and, like, the combat, the Z-targeting, the auto-jump, like, everything about Ocarina of Time just was... new. And... Yeah, I remember, like, me and my best friend at the time talking about it, and going through stuff and comparing notes on what was happening. Then all the rumors about getting the Triforce. Ocarina of Time was a pretty... It was a pretty fucking big deal. <laughs> oh, it's you. Let me see. No, that's not it. This is so very embarrassing, but I seem to be at a loss for your name. <laughs> not that it matters, really. To tell you the truth, I'm feeling a bit frustrated. And right now, I just need someone to vent to. I heard my underlings had finally captured the Spirit Maiden, so of course I rushed over here. What can I say? I was excited. Flustered, even. But what did I find when I arrived? That agent of the goddess. She had once again... You see, what I'm trying to say is... That... Goddess-serving dog escaped with the girl! I must have the Spirit Maiden in order to resurrect my master! I must have her! <laughs> I got a little carried away there, didn't I? I don't do well with complications to plans I've laid out so carefully. It's a character flaw of mine. <sighs> but something good can still come from this day. I had all but... I had all this bottled up anger smoldering inside me, and now I can release it. There's something special I'd like you to meet. Oh, don't be shy, I need to vent all this unhealthy anger, and your agony is such a great stress reliever. It won't take more than a few moments with my friend before you're charred to a satisfying crisp, and let me tell you, that will put a spring in my step. Villains are more fun to voice act, because you can just go full ham. There it is. I think that's the pattern. Ah, oh, then you run out of stamina. Oh, I, oh, that was nice of Scaldera to give me a little bit of time to recover there. Ah, 
I, I might have been able to end it. Oh, I took damage. I was, <laughs> I was going for a no damage version of that. Well, it's a good thing Nintendo has no faith in its players. Because otherwise, they might end up taking more than one hit of damage and recovering it with 13 hearts. Oh, I chose- oh, okay, you have to actually choose the correct side, too. Alright, now I'm taking damage, but it's- it's all my own stupidity. Not- there's nothing particularly difficult about this boss, aside from me just making my own dumb mistakes and running out of bombs, but, um, or- or just pressing the wrong combination of buttons, because you gotta press R, then you gotta press up on the stick, and then press R again to throw the bomb up. So, I just got confused with that sequence a couple times, but yeah, it's, uh, not- not a great- not a great boss, in my opinion. Still, I think the bomb mechanics in this game are cool. I think- having bomb plants that you can actually put in the bag is cool, but underhand rolling a bomb and controlling, like, the English you put on it is a great mechanic. Impa kind of looks like one of those cloners from Kamino in Episode 2, Star War. Link! You cannot go to him, Your Grace. Remember what we discussed. Restrain yourself. Focus on the task at hand. I never get to have fun and go to the Tashi station. I, I have to go. I'm sorry, Link. Back, child. Took you far too long to get here. Looking at you, I fear the goddess is mistaken in her choice of agents. If this failure is any indication, you have no hope of defending her grace from those who seek to assail her. Do my words anger you, boy? Do my words sting? Oh, let them. If I had not come when I did, your Zelda would have already fallen into the hands of the enemy. The truth of it, is you were late. You were late and you failed to protect her. I sent Zelda ahead to learn more of the fate in which she is destined to play a part. Listen well, Chosen One. If you wish to be of help to her grace, you must summon a shred of courage and face the trials laid out before you. Only when you've conquered the trials will you be of use to Zelda. No sooner. Am I understood? Anyway, here are these clones of Django Fett. I was gonna say Django Unchained. Jangino Fettuccini. Man, Link just got, like, verbally... That verbal assault was worse than Scaldera's burns. I went to visit the ducks today. And they were off on their little duck island. And the geese were there too, and I threw food, but they didn't... They weren't interested. They were just quacking. I was like, alright. No oats today, I guess.
god, it's it's face. Hang on, I have the perfect image to show you. Just a moment. You have to look at the face while I load the thing. Wrong with your face? That's right, Jay. That's right, Link. Hey, wait a second. I don't suppose you don't come here just to see me, do you? Yes, it's true. Aww. What? Really? Uh, yeah, right. You think I'm gonna fall for that old line? But if it were true, that might be kind of nice. Oh, I almost forgot. I still have a job to do. Do you have something for me to hold on to? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's see it. Imagine how unimpressed she would be at seeing Link's sword. Oh, that's the Master Sword. Okay. Oh, come again. No, really. Do. Oh, okay, the Master Sword. Oh, okay, the Sword of Evil's Bane. Oh, you found it. Oh, it was some kind of prophecy. Oh, you're the hero of the winds, the skies, and the lake. Oh, okay. I, I bet you're gonna say you're the hero of the dirt, too. Oh, you can dig in the dirt? And you find items like heart pieces and tons of rupees? That's nice. Oh, you saved us from the ultimate evil that was about to destroy this planet? Okay. Nice dick. Shh. Oh, fuck. Bugs. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, we're about to experience one of the coolest mechanics in this game. Yep. Imagine if they had this in Breath of the Wild, and you could make all the, like, crusty guardians come back to life. Actually, that was just called Age of Calamity. Where did you come from? We are here collecting time shift stones, and are transporting them to Lanayru Mining Facility. Stay away from the blue zones, zerp. They're too dangerous for humans. The minecart in front of the door is going to pass through here, so it is dangerous for you to be there. Vroom! Maybe you should just go away. Zorp! Wow. Hey, it worked. I, I kind of love that. That That's an amazing little touch there. If you send them out of the time zone, they just- they're just dead for millennia. It's, that's good shit. Where'd that heart go? We meet again. What are you doing, Link? Oh, Bungled.
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, I got this. I got this. It's, it's not as simple as, as pressing the. It is as simple as pressing the button. Hang on. I needed to do that. Man, thank God bombs don't grow on trees in real life. Think about how many fucking Reddit posts there would be about someone licking a bomb tree. And having it explode in their face. Day... D does... Day anyone else bomb tree lick? Our abject stupidity. I, I mean, that would probably also lead to abject death. If a you know, if you licked a bomb tree and it exploded in your fucking face, yeah, that, I don't, I don't think that leads to living. Think about how much karma people would get for posting people that died from bomb trees. Get that Reddit karma, motherfucker. That's what it's all about. That's the- that's the future currency. Everyone's on about crypto right now. And NFTs and all that stuff, but no. Soon Reddit karma will be the only currency available. So you- you better- you better post some spicy fucking memes. Botch, botch two. We're gonna need a bigger net. Got one. Why? Like, I couldn't have done that worse if I tried. Yep, uh, I guess I could have. Oh, great. Oh. I fucking, fucking, fucking penis! This is, uh, Zelda Skyward Sword, yet again, and, uh, hopefully my audio doesn't crap out. Hey everybody, Vinny here. Now, what you don't know, and what future past Vinny doesn't know, is that he's currently muted. 
Yes, using the stream deck, he pressed the mute button and then forgot to unmute. These are the growing pains of new technology. So for the next 17 minutes, he'll be giving some thought-provoking, witty, hilarious commentary over the Zelda gameplay. The kind of commentary you can't get anywhere else. You can get everywhere else. And uh, you won't be able to hear any of it because he is muted. So I'm here, Vinny, uh, to fill in some of the, the empty space. And to, you know, just kind of help correct this mistake. I guess I'll read some stuff from this weird New Jersey magazine. Meet offerings in the cemetery. Popeye, Wimpy, and Poop Deck Pappy. So where's the UFO stuff? And that's where I will leave you. It's been weird, truthfully. But I hope this is enough uh, commentary to keep you busy for those 17 minutes of my blunder. Get ready for past past Vinny to be mad in just a short while in the future. Cheers. Yeah, I was muted for like 10 minutes, wasn't I? Someone should make, like, a mod for this game, or like a hack for it. Where, instead of that, it's just Tingle's fat fucking ass. Just in one dead end. And that's it, that's the only difference. You can call it the special edition. Something, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, I think someone gave this to me at a convention, but it is... The official Nintendo Player's Guide. A complete review of over 90 games for your NES. It's in remarkably good condition. 1987, Nintendo of America, Takuma Shoten Publishing. So, for The Legend of Zelda, it gives you tips on how to use your sword. Well, thank God for that. Uh, Moblins are, sp are spelled Molblin, M-O-L-B-L-I-N. Man, it's weird seeing, like, really, really early guides for this shit. There's a guide for Punch-Out. Um, let's see, we got Kid Icarus here, Super Mario Brothers. It just gives you maps of the entire... Like, how did they do that? How did they take... Because the maps are, like, for Mario Brothers, it's just the full level stitched together. It's very small, but it's all stitched together. Did they take screenshots from the screen? Because it looks like, truthfully, it looks like they're taking a picture of a CRT television for the images in this book. Um, I'm gonna get to the back of this, because there's like... Let's see. You got... Mario Brothers the original. You and your brother Luigi are taking care of some plumbing problems underground when trouble starts. Out of the pipes come turtles, fighter flies, and crabs. They look dangerous and they're heading your way. You have to run fast, jump high, and kick to stay ahead of these rascals. They're out to get you. Yeah, that sounds about right. It just tells you, it's just an advertisement. Mega Man. The evil Dr. Wowie humanoid robots are taking over Monsteropolis? I've never heard of Monsteropolis, and I've been a big Mega Man fan when I was a kid, I guess, till now. They're lying in wait around every corner, hidden in the gun turrets, embedded in concrete uprights, and lurking under ice fields in subterranean passages. They are not human, but they have the power to destroy the human race. And that is their every intention. Well, fuck, I'm buying Mega Man! Super Pitfall. Okay, here's one, Spelunker. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this game is fucking terrible. Fabulous Fortune, believed to be the legendary King Tut's ritual brother. Tut Tut. Lie. Okay, I'm done. No more of that.
Eh. I'm not muted. I'm not muted, I swear. I'm just concentrating. Bru, found you. Scorpion. Oh, we got baby scorpions now. That wasn't too bad. The claws were the most difficult part, but that that was pretty. It was pretty easy. Oh, wait a minute. Is there another fight? Oh, no. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't remember this at all. But it would have been a good fake out. Like, heart drops. Floor drops. You have to fight one more scorpion. Or a different type of scorpion. Or scorpion skeleton. And the heart is just buried under the sand. Be a really good freak out, uh, fake out. Freak out! <laughs> Welcome to the museum of anything goes. That's where we are right now. Someone get this fucking soundboard away from me. It already, like, ruined ten minutes of commentary. And now it's just shit posts. Really don't like that fight all that much. You know, any of the three times. Fire? To diamonds? Your grace, quickly get to the gate. Or to the gate, rather. Link! Link here, you'll need this where you're going. You got the goddess's harp, but there's no time to admire it. Go, now! <laughs> Think. Protect Zelt. I will, you have my thanks, Link. Link, you must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She will know where you must go. And know that we will. It's, I'll see you again. This isn't goodbye, Link. I promise. Is that a fucking neutron bomb? Now you've done it, Link. I blame myself. I should have rep reprimanded you the last time we met. I take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for something. The next time, I'll do more than just beat you senseless. I'll make the affair so excruciating, you'll deafen yourself with the shrill sound of your own screams. I, w I wasn't able to take my time reading it out loud. I'll take one of these. Me? 
raise prices? Never! You're obviously hallucinating! So how about it? Only 600 rupees? Thank you! Oh, it really suits you! Beetle, you penis man. Upping your prices. And then saying that we're hallucinating. Oh. Wow, 1,200 rupees oh. for this last one. Wow. Doubles prices calls me like crazy and then drops me down, potentially severing my spine. Cool, cool human. No, I didn't put the fart with reverb on the soundboard. It would be too tempting. And weirdly enough, I half expected to hear it from the game, just by sitting down on the toilet. Yeah. Oh god. I remember this scene. Look out! There's no way that diaper is big enough for the two of them. Oh, rough landing. I think I might have broke something. Hey, Link, seriously. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to land without crap? Whoa! Birds? Tiny birds? What are they? And what is that thing? But how? Oh, why? What? what? Where am I? <laughs> What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, I've, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. I figured I'd tell you, and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? What's with all these trees? There's so many. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place, man? If there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds. What's all this? Hey, buddy boy. Let me just pat you on the muscle. See, Link can talk. It's just implied speech. <sighs> Whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. But I think I get what you're saying. If I got this right, Zelda is down here somewhere and she's okay? She's... she's okay. Oh, wow. That's so great. <laughs> Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. The burbs love him. They liked Druk better, but... You know, Groos is alright too, I guess. You know, Link... Ah, it's sort of alright down here. This place needs a name. Yeah, a fitting name for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Grooseland. So this is more rhythm, whereas, like, Ocarina of Time is just, mel like, purely melody.
meaning you can't even control the melody. The melody is just set for you here. You learn the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been passed down from ancient times. The harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of the Goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the Gate of Time. It is the last of its kind in existence. It's the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. But you will need to endure many hardships, and you will put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. So your journey will put you in harm's way, Link. You must endure. Endure? It is your fate as the chosen hero of the goddess. <laughs> Shaking. I fear the seal has been broken. I expected that it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would be break broken so quickly. Link, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. So this is one of those things that almost every review of this game would mention as a negative. Not, all, not, not every, but, you know, it's, it's, um, it's annoying. I remember this fight because I did it three times and because I remember it sucking. Maybe it'll be better without the motion controls. I think that's the first one going by the rule of three. See, Groos is the chosen one because Groos has a hair that looks like her hat. Wow, I actually felt sad for Groos for a moment there. He looked very sad. He saw that Link was like amazing just now. And he was like, oh. Oh. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. I believe a shot of holy light from the skyward strike might just do it. Sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Faron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out. Purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by the three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you see, uh, search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of the song of a song precious to your people, Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. It was Groose. He knows. <laughs> I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. 
Help me. There's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Mm. Think, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. Oh, come on, I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. <laughs> okay, you go run off. <laughs> he is part of the Sloppy Seconds Brothers. Dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Great Goron, I found some! Look, these butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. It's a great spot. You could even call it a G A G Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones with wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill. What can we do? Boing. That's it, the talking statues the ancient text spoke of! There's just no mistaking it. Gossip stones. Um, play a tune of great beauty. Gossip stone may pop out with a boing. Imagine how pissed this Goron's gonna be. We find this amazing thing, and then that happens. That's not a ghost, that's just someone taking a dump. Somebody, please help me. Do you need toilet paper? We, I did this in Majora's Mask. Paper, bring me paper. Any kind of paper at all. Hmm. Hmm, should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Whoa, whoa, Link, it's you! I don't sneak up on me like that! I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now. You're distracting me! Dilemma? Well, what? You want to hear about it? Ugh, normally I would never, ever tell someone like you, but these are dire times. I come to think of it, you might just be the person I need. Ah, uh, well, you seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Uh, I can't believe I just said that. Well, whatever, let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. To listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. Can love bloom in the Knights Academy? I guess we won't find out. Hey, they done me dirty when they were siding with Groose. Uh, help. Ah, you're the one from the other day. It's good to see you again. Actually, thanks to you, I met my true love. Yes, him. It all started with that letter that you gave me. Those beautiful words of affection caused me to fall hopelessly in love. My heart is bursting with thoughts of him. I feel so excited, so cheerful, so full of life. Now he gets infinite ghost jobs for the remainder of his existence, both in mortal form and ethereal form. Ah, oh, my love, I will always be by your side. That was a good quest. That was, well, like, Witcher 3 level writing. B 
I mean, you can laugh about ghost jobs, but that's how Dan Aykroyd got the idea for Ghostbusters. Well, I was in a haunted mansion, and uh, I felt the pull of an unknown figure on my genitalia. And then a full cup of ectoplasm was produced, and I went straight away to writing the Ghostbusters film, and asked Billy if he wanted to be involved, and he told me to go fuck myself, and thus the idea was born. Years later, that same ghost job would lead to the Crystal Head Vodka idea, which has no terpenes, no gasoline, no lighter fluid, no ectoplasm. Gotcha there. Just 100% pure diamond encrusted vodka. Do you remember when the funniest shit you've ever heard in your life was Stewie saying, Quill Quitten? Back when the world was, was of a simpler place. Before you needed like four or five different levels of irony and awareness to make comedy. All you needed was a baby with a football face pronouncing the H in words that don't have an H sound. <laughs> oh, well, you know, Brian, I just went to go see Will Wheaton. Why do you ask? Well, you know, Stewie, you're a baby, and uh, you shouldn't be talking, and technically, neither should I. I know what a comedi comedic premise this is. My, my good Brian, what a kerfuffle we found ourselves in. Whatever do you say? Think about how many knees you slapped hearing that football baby say those funny words with the H's. You didn't even slap your own knees, you slapped your friend's knees. Well, I'll go take care of that robot. Wow, that was fast. Thank you. I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry it. Ah, where's this green-clad individual of small stature? <laughs> oh, it talked. Could you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him? <laughs> well, I'll extend my reluctant thank yous in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. <laughs> Chunk. Hey, Link, have you ever gone on our heckin' chonkers? <laughs> we built this giant tower and left a tiny hole for the hero to enter. They were planning on the hero being a Metroid. Or Samus in a Morph Ball. A lot of towers and goddesses and goddess things and things with goddesses on them in this game. Okay, that's a little silly looking. <sighs> Master Link, I have important information when you struck the crest. Um, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. Goddess intended for the message for you, Master. Here are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow upon you, onto you, a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of the Farron Woods.
Yep, that's Woods music, all right. That song is called Feror's Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. Okay, thanks. Oh no, is this where you have to collect the things? Oh no. Something here is reacting to our performance of Ferrar's Courage. I've confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate 90% probability that this mark is a trial gate. As mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from the Island of Songs. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark. Yeah, I think this is the thing that kind of sucks. Oh, it is. They did the same thing in Twilight Princess. Well, not the same thing, but you had to collect, like, grapes. Some fucking ethereal grape stuff. At least in the HD version of that, they made it so that you had to collect less grapes. It's a trial, uh, it's Silent Realms, they're domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. Um, it tests your courage. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial. Spirit Vessel. Gotta collect grapes here, too. When the vessel's full, it will signify you have com uh, successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. Allow the goddess to bless you with a new power. And, and they make you, like, go all the way back to the beginning, too? Look how many footsteps I have to take. Oh, now this is just unacceptable. You got the Pinyap of Courage. Use this to upgrade your sword with the oils of the pinyap. Wait, it, it just like that? I can swim? Sure. Hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale. If you have one, you can swim through the water like dragon swords of the sky. Must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited, Q. <laughs> what am I doing? You should use the water dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't even get to before, Q. Ha, 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 ha. That's just there, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> Whose gratitude is that? And also, look at my rupees. I think it's clear it was Satan's gratitude. You know, thanks. I really appreciate you going out of your way. To be extremely annoying to that one dude, and, uh, have the ghost hand harass him for the rest of his life. Like, that was a really cool move. It was a kind of a dick move. And that's why I'm going to give you my gratitude crystal. I, Satan. 
I like when you fuck that dog up with your sword. That was cool. That's worth at least another three gratitude crystals. Why'd they run away? Well, I think it switched camera angle. It switched who I was, which bird was locked onto. That nothing even happened that time, birds. Just like real birds get scared over nothing. I try to throw food at birds and they just fly away. I'm like, do you not see? Do you not see that I'm trying to pelt you with seeds? Yeah, I got a bunch. Good enough, right? Good enough. Is this this game's equivalent of Lake Hylia? Clearly, it's a different name. And I don't really remember a lot of this either. I do know that a great dungeon's coming up soon. How cool would this be if you get to change into Zora Link? I'm not talking about Majora's Mask 3D Zora Link. I'm talking about original Majora's Mask Zora Link. I fucking love seahorses. I don't have any recollection of these things. Ha, human in the water. Look at him trying to flap around in the water. Rem remember, one day they will mate with a fish and a human and become the Zora race. I think that's how it works. Hey, bub. I never, I never knew there were humans who could dive this deep. Can you also do a sp A what? Quit following me, pest. If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell Her Excellence the Water Dragon about your little incursion. Aha. Uh -huh. Didn't see that coming, did you? Yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to follow me now. So what now? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna shit and piss and come a little bit? Huh? David Lynch? I guess I can spin, and I didn't have to learn it. How is it even possible? I've never seen a human pull off a spin like that. Wait, it's the water dragon scale. Does that make you the emissary of the goddess, like the water dragon said? Maybe you can help Her Excellency. Well, what's wrong? About that, it happened really recently. A weirdo, a weirdo came in here with a gang of monsters and went right after Her Excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter, and boy did she gobble up most of those monsters in the first few seconds. Thing is, there were just so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. So, could you go please talk to her excellence? See if you can help her out. I'll even take you to her. Follow me! Path unblocked? Lake Fluoride. 
from the municipal water supply of Hylia. Now that's using your noodle. Her excellence is just up ahead over this way. How do they know what a noodle is? Okay, so what the hell is this thing? This isn't the water dragon, is it? Oh, it's small. Ah, uh, you there, human. You've intruded into my house. Nortz knows what this race is. Nortz has said he's seen aliens as smooth, if not smoother than that. You've intruded into my home, a sacred place few are permitted to enter. This is no place for one such as yourself. And yet you stand here. Here you stand. You will explain how you got here quickly. Water dragon? I am. Those with manners address me as Pharon, warden of the woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, so... We say, excuse me. Know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. A test is in order to prove you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Girahim. I stood against this self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. And now you're in a slow cooker. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I've been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished, and I am now in need of another dose to freshen my healing bath. Bring me the container of the fresh sacred water. What a hell of a MacGuffin that is. Sacred water that I require. Do me this favor, I'll, I, I, and I'll gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What do you say? Got it. Hmm. Yes, look at that color. There's no doubt that this is the water I need. Quickly, boy. Pour it into my basin. It didn't even reach. Link made no attempt to get it in there. Oh, it's huge. Exquisite. I can feel its energy surging through me. Behold the full majesty of Pharon, water dragon and guardian of these lands. I stand tall, healed. I stand tall, healed and whole once again. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked for. I see now it was no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained the water dragon scale. In turn, I will grant you the favor you have asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come! Now behold. <laughs> we just got used to way too much weird shit. Abnormalities are no problem if you play video games regularly. Everybody, we did it. It's the ancient cistern. This dungeon is... good. And I remember it, kind of. Some of it. I remember the boss battle and how cool it was. And I only played this game once a decade ago, so there's, again, things that I- I didn't remember those fucking seahorses. Uh, I didn't remember the backtracking back into the first dungeon, so there's- there's a lot that just escaped my memory, but there's a couple things that stick out. And this is the moment I've waited for- well, it's not that good. It's good! I just remember it being cool. It's pretty cool. I can't wait for WarioWare Get Your Shit Together to come out. That is not what I drew. Uh, I failed miserably at drawing a rupee. I was gonna draw a rupee. Apparently you draw the item you want and you get it. I should have drawn the Master Sword. I remember when the word sun was first introduced into my vocabulary from my best friend growing up who really liked... It was weird because he was just this like... This little kid who, um... You know, liked video games, was a nerd, loved the Ninja Turtles. 
And then, like, almost overnight, he loved hip-hop. Almost overnight. And then he started saying, like, different words that I had never heard before. And he started dressing different. And I didn't understand what was happening. But then he started calling me son. And it's like, I guess we were- I was 13. And then, like, my friend, who's also 13, was calling me son. <laughs> I was like, alright, this is a little goofy, what's happening here? And then I found out what was going on. And then he started doing his own, um, hip-hop to tapes. He had, uh, tapes of hip-hop performances that he did. And, you know... I don't remember him being bad at it, but... You know, when you have, like, a 13, 14-year-old kid talking about... Like, basically doing, like, Tupac-style gangster rap... You know, m might I add... A kid who... Like, a white kid who grew up in suburbia... Um, kind of... Ish... And, uh, went to... Like, didn't really, like, had good... Good opportunities. <laughs> like, and he's singing about all this stuff. And, like, getting, I quote, hoes pregnant. I... Maybe there's a reason why hip-hop didn't really resonate with me, because that, to me, just seemed ridiculous. And... I got into hip-hop later on, like, certain, like, music... Kind of did, re like, resonate, and I enjoyed it, but... Watching that happen to my friend, and him starting to call me son, was, to me, hilarious. When David Bowie said, I wish I could swim like dolphins could swim, what he needed to do was play Skyward Sword. I know Bowie played video games. I mean, he fucking made a video game. Um... I wonder what games he liked. Like, I wonder what he played... I wonder if he liked any of my favorites. I know Kurt Cobain played video games. He had, like, a Super Nintendo. They would bring on the tour bus. I can't picture Kurt Cobain playing Link, uh, Link to the Past. You know, when we were playing Link to the Past on the tour bus, we were really into it. But, you know, there was a lot of apathy as well. Imagine that. Imagine, like, famous people being just people that do the same stuff that we do. Imagine that. You know, when I had diarrhea, uh, I knew it was time to stop eating White Castle. Yes. <laughs> this is really cool. Just cool lighting and art direction down here. Wow. It actually worked. Is this like a parable? I feel like so much of this is- like, after I learned that a lot of this was, um... ...designed to reflect, like, stories and parables... ...I wonder if someone climbed a thread into the light. And that's what that was about. It's a very striking image, though. It's really, really cool. Okay, so we have a good boss coming up. I'm gonna pause for just a second though, I'm gonna get something to drink real quick. And then we will begin the battle. Good dungeon, maybe an even better boss, from what I remember. We'll see. I don't know if it lives up to my memory, we're gonna find out in just a second. Okay, we're ready. Who's we? It's me and the voice in my head. That sounds like me, and seems to think like me, and is me. 
You certainly are persistent. I'm terribly busy trying to find the clues that will help me revive the Demon King. Your incessant buzzing around my head like this irksome gadfly when I'm this busy is, well, it's making me very disagreeable. Colactos. quick with the item switching. You're not a good time to sneeze! Ooh, shield getting fucked up. Oh wait, no, the shield's alright. Now it's a little fucked up. It's bad timing. this stuff back. Well, not grows it back, but yeah. Okay, no, no, I was, I was correct. There we go. Such a cool fucking enemy. So much for easy, Modo. Yeah, this is cool. This is what I remember specifically, this part of the fight. Fucking hell, that was close. <sighs> it's a cool fight. It's not the longest fight. I mean, it could have gone longer if I didn't know what I was doing. Kind of didn't for a little bit, but very good fight still. Yeah, this dungeon probably cements itself as one of my favorites of all time in the Zelda series still. And Link has a new sword finally. Yeah, instead of the Great Fairy Sword or the Bigoron Sword, you just get one of those. Just put it in your pocket when you're done. <laughs> the 
Gondor now has lit the uh, the flame, the call will be answered by Rohan. Well, rip by. Raise your sword, master. It's a sword upgrade. Finally! And it, it looks just about the same. It's longer and sharp enough to do twice as much damage. Hey, Link, any closer to finding Zelda? Don't go around telling anyone, but lately I've been working out at night so I can get strong like you. No, please don't come into my room at night when I'm training. I'd be so embarrassed. No, don't come in there. Don't take a look. Don't examine my pectorals. Don't play your sweet, soothing harp while I'm working out at night, Link. I'd be just so embarrassed. Ah. No, Link. Don't don't show up in your pajamas with a muscle tee while I'm busy working out, Link. Please. Uh, no. Uh. Uh, don't, don't show up at, into my room at midnight with your whip, Link. Uh. And your beetle. Uh. Link. Okay, I won't. Hello, welcome to the item check. Oh. I, oh, uh, welcome. You seem different. Oh, I, I do? I, I, I don't think I do. Maybe you're mistaken? Oh, it's not like, oh, hey, that guy's back. I'm so happy or anything like that. Uh, but if you think about how often we meet, you have to admit that our relationship has gone beyond employee and customer, you know? Oh, no, I didn't mean to. What am I saying? Please forget everything I just said, okay? Okay, get it together. Be professional. You have anything you want me to hold on to? Hey, I also, uh, work out in the middle of the night. <laughs> Report, Master. This is Lene Rusansi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is... A sea of sand. There's some cool stuff up ahead, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this part of the game is cool. If you've never seen this game, this is wacky shit. Get ready for Weird Wind Waker. But yeah, it really is like a little mini weird time travel Wind Waker. Pretty nice for the sake of variety, and it's also simple enough that it doesn't... Um... That it's not like I have to learn a ton of new mechanics just to do this one section. Though I will say you can still see underwater. Like, up ahead. Underneath the sand. Which, you know... If you're going for, like... The time thing, you, you, you can't do that. How dare you. Skyward Sword, how dare you. I think Link's brown pants are symbolic... Of the Nintendo problem from this time... In general. Which is... 
we want to change things only a little bit, but keep them mostly the same. Never mind, that argument falls completely flat. I, I... No. Man, and I was gonna write a whole ass article on the internet about that, like, the, the connection between the pants and, and Nintendo's problems with innovation. Even though they are one of the more innovative companies. W what am I doing here? Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out how to defeat those birds at some point. Shit! Fuck! Fuck, Bokobloids. I love the mispronunciations, even of like people in the Nintendo treehouse of Bokoblins. Or maybe I'm thinking of something different, but like I've heard Bokoblins, Bo like Bokas, Boblins. Boblins is my favorite. That just sounds like a nickname for, uh. Well, never mind. Boblins. Okay. Roller coaster time. Ooh. Oh, you have to... Right, right, right. You gotta lean into the track. Oh. Oh, cool. Sick. I forgot what the jump button was, and then I realized too late that that wasn't a jump situation. Anakin Skywalker would, would hate this. Well, that was... ill-advised. Fight the boss again. Come on, just do it. Please, Nintendo gamers, please. It's not too bad, but Nintendo gamers, listen up. Calling all Nintendo gamers. This Scorpion needs your help. That's why it needs that credit card, the wacky digits on the back. Play it again. Fight him again. Extend the runtime. Nintendo needs your help. Sand ship. Gotta move the microphone further away from my mouth so that when I say ship, ship, it doesn't do that. Is this the dungeon? This is the dungeon itself. This reminds me of how Twilight Princess had a couple wacky dungeons. In particular, the one where you're just in like a Yeti's house. That one... That one sticks out. That one's a favorite. Please be a rupee. God damn it! This just seems like the most inefficient way to design a boat engine room, or a boat, period. The crew must get lost every single day. I mean, the crew's probably getting crushed every single day, too. Remember when Link was just, like, some random dude from Skyloft? Who was, like, checking in on Pledge's pectorals every now and then? He was just, like, a knight in training? I remember that. Now people are admiring him. Such a fucking motion control gimmick. It's like when you play Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, you have to draw on the screen. 
just as you're about to defeat a boss, otherwise they regenerate all their health. Judging by their size, these tentacles belong to a monster of considerable size. The ship is under attack! What? Bessie's in trouble and stuck in the well. Thanks, Lassie! Oh fuck, it was Donkey Kong with tentacles the whole time. I believe the response is, no, they. <laughs> nice of the wood to go back to perfection after that. Oh yeah, this thing. Just silly design. Oh, <laughs> I got really stormy, didn't it? That's a good sign. That's a bad sign. Chekhov's box. Kinda looks like it's raining up sometimes. Nope! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck these things. Pussy. Which is just the title of a James Bond movie, it's nothing weird. Fi's dead.
flames of Nehru have transformed your blade, expanding Fi's power. She can now use, help use your dousing ability to search for more, more things. Best power. Man, I've never felt so free in my life. As that time I did the Joker dance. That was true freedom. Hey Link, it's me, Ledge. That's my new name. I've been working out so much. I decided to name myself Ledge. In a week, my pectorals will be so hard that I'm gonna name myself Sledge. Anyway, I'm going to take a nap. I'll see you in about five minutes. Oh, we'll get there eventually. Get there eventually. This would be the point of the stream where the chat would be like, Hey, Vinny, do you plan on playing Shin Megami Tensei 6 Ultra Deception Devil Trigger? And I'd be like, I don't know if I'm going to play Shin Megami Sensei uh, 6 uh, Ultra Devil Trigger uh, Deception Sensei. I'll take out my frustrations on the mushroom. Which, you know... Sometimes that's what you do when you're feeling a little upset. You gotta... Beat the mushroom. Make some, uh, some brown gravy. I, I hate that. I hate what I just said. Even though the bird statue's right there, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do something crazy. <sighs> Alright, well next time... Fledge will become Sledge. And we will check out the next dungeon. Or the next area leading up to the next dungeon. I mean, hell, we're getting close to the end. It's going pretty well, I would say. I have a duck update, kind of. Which is that, um... It was nice out today, and I went to go see the geese and the ducks. And, uh... And they were nice. They don't get near people anymore. They just kind of do their own thing. They hang out in the water. See? Like that. Duck. And they don't go for the food anymore. I was throwing oats in their general direction, but they really weren't interested, I don't think. So... I let them have their lives. You know, you gotta let it go. If you love something, let it go, I always heard, right? I could do the fast travel trick again. I'm gonna do it. Zip. It feels like it might have... Yeah, this, this feels... I'm trying to speed run. Link going mental on the harp. The Zora guitar was better, I'm sorry. I mean, Zora guitar is best. Please do not kill. Please do not kill. <sighs> Jesus. 
My pulse is so fucking fast right now. <laughs> Just fucking faded out of existence. What's going on? I almost blew a rotor trying to slow myself during that descent. Anyway, this is where you want the water, right? What? The summit? Why didn't you say so from the start? I don't want to carry this thing back to the sky. It's heavy. Oh, this place is swarming with monsters. Oh, I bust up enemies like a junkyard wrecker. It's not too bad I got my mitts full with this pencil. Master Shortpants, since we came all this way, let's play a little game called Protect the Robot. Here's how it works. I'll follow you up the volcano, and you make sure nothing touches me. Got it? Go on. Your job is simple. Hey, Master Shortpants, I have a great idea. Let's play something called Padding the Gameplay. Yeah, slash the ass upwards. Yeah, wipe! I was at, um... A deli today, not one I usually go to, and they gave me, they charged me for two sandwiches. And I was like, no, I got one. I got, I didn't order two. So then they charged me for one sandwich, but then gave me two of the same sandwich. So we eating good for the next three weeks, lads. I wonder how many people that just upset that I left a heart there while having one heart missing. There's been a James Bond channel on uh, the Pluto TV thing. And uh, I was watching Man with the Golden Gun a little bit. That movie's pretty rough. That is a rough movie. I still don't understand why James Bond in a car with whoever that dude is, I forget his name. I should know better, but I, I don't. Um, they do, like, a corkscrew flip over, like, a small gap, and they play a fucking slide whistle. I'm serious. It's supposed to be this cool stunt, and this is what you hear. And that's why Roger Moore's James Bonds get shit on a little bit. Whatever that is. Oh, that was a bomb. Okay, sure. Sure it was. How- how old is this gag now? But we'll see. <laughs> that face, that shield face. Oh, it's you. I forgot about Gear Him. Oh, hello there, Link. I see you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. We seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence though, is it? You and I, we're bound by a thread of fate. <laughs> Look at these old drawings! Until I found these, I was upset about that little stunt that the goddess's guard dog pulled at the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa? Well, never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second gate of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. I've been a busy boy, searching here and there and everywhere for another gate of time. And yet, I couldn't even find a single clue. Since I know I can be honest with you, I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. 
The thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was, well, more than I could bear. But then, I found this place. The prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giggly. This is when, Link, you just reach your sword and stab it backwards into his face. Before he can use his tongue. Okay, he didn't use his tongue this time, that's good. That girl, your adorable friend. She will be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. But before we talk any further on that subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Link. Do you remember when I told you that the next time we met, I'd make your ears bleed from the sound of your own screams? Well, I've been thinking. Perhaps corporal punishment is a touch harsh. I might be willing to forgive and forget if you'll strike a deal. All I ask is that you tell me where I can find the other gate of time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh, and don't you play coy with me. I know that you know, so why not let me in on the fun? I know that you know that I know that you know. Such behavior. A mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't go easy on you this time. Lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than any armor. Doesn't their shape just leave you breathless? <laughs> Some big Freddy Mercury power going on here. Such an exquisite physique. Such stunning features. <laughs> yes, I've pretty much got it all, though there is one teensy tiny thing I lack. Namely, mercy. Come to me, Link. You and I were bound by that thread of fate destined to fight. So come close, Link. Meet me in battle, and the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked crimson with your blood. Fuck, where- oh, how do I hit? How do I hit? Oh, right, 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 you gotta mislead him. Right. No, stop! Hear him! Please! I'm not even try- I'm not even trying. I'm just trying to escape, and then it just- there's a holdover. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck you, cure him, fuck you. No, no, Link, that wasn't supposed to be that. Good time to play the harp. He'll be stunned. By how good your playing is. Damn. Damn it! It was either attack or block, and I couldn't figure out. I couldn't make up my mind. Fuck. Don't like your sword, man! Defeated by your own shitty dagger flies. Enough of this foolishness. I'm Girahim, Demon Lord! Shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is, you're still nothing. Not just a human, a human child! And yet you prevail. 
You filthy scamp. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. I swear to you, whatever it takes, I will drag you into an eternity of torment. <laughs> Bitch. Oh wait, is this it? Is this now the Master Sword? I forget if there's like one more iteration of sword. Yeah, no, this is it. The Flames of Din have imbued your blade with a sacred white light that demons revile. Oh wait, it's not open yet fully. I think. The cross guard is still kind of closed. <laughs> Damn. Unless that's just it, I don't remember. In any case, Link's sick Triforce Tat. Glow in the dark Triforce Tat. Loves it. Master, now that it has been tempered by the last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. You now hold the Master Sword. With the sword's great power, you can awaken the gate of time within the sacred temple, but I recommend you make your way to this location. I don't even know. I just wanted to start with Beatle noises, and I got the Beatles. Thank you, Remix, from Wuju Yim. Thank you. Thank you. Maximum effort. Thank you. Show the grape your sword's power. No, oh, I fear the seal has been has given way once again. That terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there is no other way to open the gate. So it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. <laughs> Alright, bring it on! <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, that flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. <sighs> well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. No. Hey, Link! Uh -huh. Try not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grucinator. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid down the rails for her to run on all by myself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had talent to make something like this, you know? Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll put a hurting on that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are, you're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on though, that monster showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast! Oh shit.
No, no, no. Don't do that. Hey, Link, the machine's all loaded, ready to smash. That flabby sack of teeth tries to climb that wall. I can blast it off from here with a bomb. When you want some backup for me, just tell, uh, send me the signal with X. All right, time for Groose to explode into action. I guess you do get to control Goose, uh, Groose, for a short time. She packs a mean punch, doesn't she? I tell you, I was in love. First time I pulled this lever. I'll start loading her back up with another bomb, so keep beating on Big Ugly till I give you the signal. I think it's nice that people get to see why Groose is a fan favorite, even if it is weird. But he does become a sympathetic character. And he becomes useful and helpful. It's kind of nice. I'll tell you what, it's not as long of a fight as I remembered it being. In my mind, it was a lot more tedious and annoying. And it explodes into scales. Isn't Scales a Sonic character? Hey. Hey. Nice work there, Link. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but no need to thank Groose. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get that gate of time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. <laughs> Didn't work. Link, you must now play a Tetris minigame for the fate of Hyrule. Link was in a Tetris game. Tetris NES Link was in there when you beat the game. Pit would be it would be there. Donkey Kong Link. Metroid himself. Hear it. This is what we have waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zeld now waits. Go bravely, Link. If everything is as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Link. Character development. That stupid monster doesn't even know when to quit. Granny here keeps yapping on and on about how I'd never know we might bust free again. Someone's gonna stick around and guard the place. <laughs> might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? You know what? <laughs> nah, forget about it. Cream, 
Sorry to ruin the emotional nice moment. When you see Zelda, just tell her I said, what's up? Gandalf cream, hot butter ice cream. Some, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Cool trippy graphics. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you made it. Zorlda. I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle known as... Sorry, the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about the war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to all be real. I think it's time you learn the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a... In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and set them both into motion. Okay. First, she cre- You've probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Link? You are the chosen hero. And Groos is the goddess. Reborn as a mortal. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of Demise. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all this, Link. But you have to understand that this is a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. All that may be well-intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. Link, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. But until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> well, it's true that I am Hylia Reborn. I'm still my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. When Demise is finally gone, there will be no more need for the seal that binds him. And then I'll be able to wake up. So, going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'd always be the one to wake you up when you slept in. This time, when all of this is over, will you come wake me up? <gasps> wow, I felt an emotion. I don't always expect to feel emotion from Zelda games, because the stories are... Save the princess, get the sword, kill the Ganon. With twists, Ocarina of Time is the one... 
No, Majora's Mask. Uh, okay, no, never mind. I feel a lot of emotions for a lot of the Zelda games, but not usually the 2D ones as much. Yeah, Wind Waker. Never mind. Yeah, no, there's emotion. Anyway, this was the expo uh, exposition dump. You know, the exposition dump. It's a lot of exposition. It's dumped. Alright, now we just have to find the Triforce. That should be easy. I think I got it. Is this a Triforce? Are you a Triforce? I'm unloading this cargo of pumpkin soup here. You've picked an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Something could jump out at us at any moment, hungry for soup or robot. Eat the robot. Eat it. I'm out of here. See you around, Zerk. Fucking nerd. Link. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Kind of remember this thing. I got one. It's cool that you even have the option to shoot one with an arrow. I wonder if speedrunners can do that with, like, all arrows right at the beginning without having to go into the sky. Good thing they're, like, eyeballs, right? Just big, giant, juicy, fucking plump eyeballs. Ready to be popped. It's like what they did with Majora's Mask 3D, which is give everything a very obvious eyeball. I mean, it is a pretty cool fight. Bylocyte. Whoa, that's out of sight, man. It's probably nothing consumable. Because I am not getting any arrow refills here. Try to swing. Oh, shit. I get it now. I get it now, I get it. Ooh, different move in it. Dead Worms Volley. Oh, that feels much better. Tell me, boy, was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? Must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome pest bothered me. I was not myself. That business is done now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. I am the great spirit they call Levias. Before she passed from this world, so long ago, the goddess highly appointed me as warden of the skies. 
that cauldron of soup was like taking like a, an eyedropper, like a dropper, and putting two two drops of soup in it. And what do they call you, boy? Ah, Link is it? A rather pleasing name that. Your parents clearly have excellent taste in names. Mm, you carry a curious sword, boy. I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. I see it now, Link. You are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assumed you've come to hear what I know of the Triforce. As I suspected, listen closely and I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago an evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. The goddess did everything in her power to prevent her from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, she hid the Triforce somewhere within the rock you call Skylock. However, its location has been kept secret. Even I do not know where it rests now. But the goddess didn't trust me with a hint. The location of the Triforce. The clue is the song, meant to be played at the harp you hold, known as the Song of the Hero. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. The goddess split the song into four parts. She entrusted one part to me and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the Song of the Hero, seek out the dragons, and convince them to teach you their parts. Okay. Just do a manual save. I have to, um, get something to drink real quick. You won't even know. You won't even know the difference. It'll be like a second. So, I'm gonna pause it, but... In the time I've been gone... I got a drink. I went outside to enjoy the weather for a moment. I won the lottery. I started in a Star Wars side story. And I pet the dog. Oh, Link, hello there. Is there something you need? No, there's something you need. My fruit. And where was he storing that? Oh, is this what I think it is? You brought that here for me, didn't you? <laughs> Down the hatch. I'm not reading that out loud. Oh, you've done it, boy. I can feel the fruits effect surging through me. It's exhilarating. I feel like a proper dragon again. <laughs> Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Thanks to you, boy, this old dragon will keep on charging a while yet. I owe you a big thanks, so allow me to perform a moving rendition of my part of the Song of the Hero. I should warn you, I've got a mean set of pipes and I know how to use them. This will clean out those ears, boy! Brace yourself. Copy that. You learn part of the Song of the Hero. I'm never going to be an, an expert, expert at slide whistle. whistle. I'll take a peek at your past experiences. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't go to that part of the... No. Oh, oh, oh battling fierce foes. Oh. <laughs> Finish! Finish! What does the Mario Party announcer have to do with Finland? Though. So, um, this is a thing you can do that I forgot about, that I knew at one point and then forgot. You don't have to spend time on the feats. Baby, please! You have no ideas! I'm just letting the clock run out, you know, so I can get closer to my 155. 
Yes, sir. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Eight victories, victories in a row. row. Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. It was, it was sent, sent to the, the item, item check. check. I always think item check, check is in there and not with, with the... the, the uh, wow, well, she's... That's, that's, that's right, I'm here to see you. You, you, you make, make me so happy, I think I'm going, going to kill you. over. Lately when I think about you, my head gets all fuzzy, my heart races, I get short of a breath, I feel all dizzy. You don't think this could be... Yep, it's love. Oh, I can't believe you just said it out loud, it's so embarrassing! I kind, I kind of forgot, forgot myself there. Back, back to work. work. No, where, where was, was I? I? Oh, oh yeah, I was, was going to ask if you wanted me to take care of you forever. forever. Yes, yes, please. Really? That, that makes me so happy. happy. Oh, oh no, I am so, so sorry. sorry. I need to learn how to keep these delirious dreams in check. No, no wait, I mean, I mean, are there... I even you want me to check, darling? Oh my god. What have I done? So I'm gonna save... You will experience maybe a second and a half of waiting, and, and then, then we will continue the uh, the journey. But for me, it will have been hours. See you immediately. Oh, uh, I said, see you immediately. And wait, do I snap my finger? Good. Sorry to say this, but market research has proven that people want more wacky slide whistle. Man, that shield looks good. Gotta say, I am impressed with that shield. Let's see. Hey, Gundo, can you upgrade this shield? No? He doesn't know? Okay, well, you can upgrade my bow. The sacred bow. I like how this dude just made, like, a legendary Hylian weapon. He's that good. Oh, fuck. I don't remember this at all. Oh, okay. Really? Some shitty Bokoblins captured Link? <laughs> Amazing. Is this filler? I'm not sure I really, um... Want to be doing this right now? Ho! Oh! Man of flesh and blood has walked his way to the heart of my burning hall. Now, this is something. If I have the right of it, the mark you bear upon your hand is not just a fashionable decoration. Actually, it is. It's one of those fancy Triforce tattoos everyone's getting. There can be no doubt about it, then. The goddess has chosen you to hear the melody I have guarded for her all these years. Listen well, human child. I will sing you my part of the song of the hero. <laughs> that face. Link loves it. That shot was very intentional. He feels it in his loins. Okay. 
If I get a heart piece, I will be pleased. Oh, you've gathered the crystals! Whoa! Giant wallet. Bitch, what am I gonna do with this? Uh. 70 gratitude crystals. Nah. I'm out, dog. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I done? You know what the Grusinator can do, am I right? As long as I'm at the controls of this bombshell beauty, I don't even know the meaning of the word defeat. Flinging bombs on this monster's face, defending the land, it's my purpose, I think. It's why I'm here. Anyway, Link, I've got work to do. Try not to get in the way of my shots, okay? All, all you, Grus. You got this. Re why don't you repel the monster? There is no need for this. <laughs> It wasn't too bad. It was less shitty than I remembered. With my machine, the woods are just a fling away. <laughs> this is like one of those videos. Can you complete Mario 64 if everything was flooded? Which is a real video. Who dares to dip even a toe in my waters without my leave? Oh, I remember you. You're the young human who helped me recover my injuries some time ago. Ah, Link, was it? Let's have a look at you. Yes, you seem a good deal stronger than the last time we met. This water dragon has drip. Look at that sword. You're the real thing, boy. Clearly you have the spirit of a hero. Of a goddess. Let me guess, you swam all the way here to try to get me to teach you the part of the song of the hero the goddess entrusted to me. That's all well and good, but I can't go around giving away something that's precious to every hero who flounders into my waters. That precious. No, I think a final test is in order to ensure you are in fact the one meant to hear this melody of mine. God damn it, I have the master sword. This may be news to you, but some very irksome monsters have been overrunning my woods of late. I decided I had enough. The easiest way to deal with the awful things was to flood the whole woods. How much of everything else did you, did you just kill by doing that? As it happens, almost every inch of greenery in the area is submerged. So, it's here, in this flooded land, that I will test you. If you're up to completing the task I ask of you, I see no reason why I shouldn't reward you with the melody you seek. As you just saw, I have split the melody you seek among many. My many tad tones, and have hidden them around the forest. Tad tones? If you haven't already guessed, here's your task, Link. To collect, take the score and collect all my little musical friends out there. Tad tones store oxygen in their balls, so when you catch one, it will restore some of your air. Oh. Well, I guess now we know where the oxygen is stored. I can't believe that text dialogue box just said that exact thing for those of you working on something and not actively paying attention to the visuals of this streaming extravaganza that's not actually being streamed, but is being broadcast from the past to you live right now. That is exactly what it said in the text box. Eat shit. Yeah, eat fucking dumb. This is not what you'd expect as a late-game Zelda activity. It's not what I would expect, at least. Like, you've powered up your sword. You have the best shield. 
You have all of the items. You have defeated many of Ganon's foes. And now you must swim and collect... What is that? Animals? Like little tadpoles? I'm just gonna let Link take his time. Take your time, Link. Don't worry. We've got plenty of time. Nintendo is in no rush to end this game, and neither were we. Ah, oh, you've brought back all my colorful little tad tones. You are indeed worthy of being called a hero. That much is clear. I'm good for my word, so I'll teach you my part of the song you seek. Oh. <laughs> they hired a real dragon to sing that part. So you've learned all three parts of the songs from the dragons, eh? You've done well, young one. True to my word, I will perform the last part of the song for you. Is that an E flat? Okay, well, that was a cool scene. We did it. Now that you know the song, I trust you know what to do with it. That old song opens the door to a great trial. Should you succeed in conquering the challenge awaiting you there, I'm certain the path to the Triforce will be revealed to you. Oh shit, I've been muted this whole time. Fuck. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open the way to the final Silent Realm. Oh, there's another Silent Realm? Oh no! <laughs> Forgot about this one! I don't know, opinions are, are okay, but muppinions are better. Which is Muppet opinions. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you, Muppets that have opinions are both cool, or, or cool, uh, uh, they are cool. Muppets that have opinions, but also opinions on Muppets are pretty cool, too. 
I'll give you an example. Rizzo the Rat is a fine Muppet. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Kermit. Plows. That's another opinion. Now, is that a fact? I don't know. I haven't done my, my research on that. I don't know if it's true or not, so I'm going to say it's my opinion on Kermit plowing. Now, if you haven't already received Terminal 9 brain damage from listening to this and are still here, I want to thank you. I want to say that you're brave. I want to say that you are outstanding. And like the end of Ferris Bueller, go home. This is a problem. This is a problem. Yep. Yeah, that was a problem. Do it again, asshole. I don't know, maybe you'd be willing to, to do it. I, I'm fucked. Current! Ooh! Fuck no. Nope. Oh my god, okay, we're good. We are good. We're as good as we could be with exploded knees. Fucking destroy those knees. Jesus Christ. Is it time to get the Triforce? Cool and useful bird. Oh. Well, holy shit. Is it a bomb? No. It's so fucking weird. I report, Master Link. My calculations indicate 85% chance the structure you uncovered but houses the Triforce. Given this development, I project that the moment for Zelda to fulfill her destiny and bring it into demise is close at hand. That's cool. Who's Zelda? Good day. Is this it? Good day. 
Since when do I say good day? The question is, how many more times do I have to defeat the, um, the oily feet boss? What's that dude's name? Um, Glan Grand Slam Arino? I, uh, the one who rises from the ground and you have to hit the head. We did it. High probability that the Triforce will be here. Yeah, Link, I like the way you thrust. Okay, now complete a Silent Realms challenge, dipshit. Triforce of power, created by the old gods. Triforce possesses the ultimate power set to grant the wishes of whoever possesses it. Cool. Oh, yes, another Triforce. The Triforce of Wisdom. Very powerful. You get a brain surge. Like you were, uh, drinking... ...monster energy drink. Now, there's been a lot of talk of subtle product placement in various streams. And I reject the notion entirely. I reject the hypothesis! I love the purple and blue of this cave design. Right between the cheeks like a credit card. That just happened now? Oh great, my own bomb. Welcome to Link's Crossbow Training, Episode 1. Why was the skeleton invincible? Nice arms, bro. You got the touch! You got the power! That's what should be playing. The Dirk Diggler cover of You Got the Touch, You Got the Power from the Boogie Night soundtrack. That should play when you get the Triforce. With its power, you have the ability to make Zelda's wish of vanquish vanquishing demise a reality. Hmm. A lot of ducks out today. Master, I believe at this juncture that a prayer is required. The ultimate goal we have is traveled so far. We have traveled so far for is now within our reach. Focus now and wish with all your might for the destruction of demise. Okay, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Lead us not into temptation and give us the daily bread in, uh, for the temptation to avoid temptation who art in heaven. 
You really done it now, Link. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us those who tr fool me once. Shame on shame on you. Oh, so that's how you kill this thing. You just drop an island onto it. Like a glove. <laughs> Sadly, Groose was killed in the island incident. He will be remembered for his catapult. All catapults from this time forward shall be called Grusinators. I think I got it this time. Uh, Groose almost looks happy. Oh, me and Granny have been keeping each other company, Link. Groose, no. Don't do it. No, Groose! Granny Green's a butter ice cream. Sorry to ruin this touching moment. With another touching moment. Morning, Link. Ruining more touching moments. Look at that face. Bruce is all right, but where's Druck? <laughs> like, there's no reason for Groose to be here at this scene. But I like that the developers knew well enough to keep him here. have done a little more with Girahim. This is all very touching, really, but I'm afraid I'll have to cut this emotional moment short by singing over the music, of course. It's best for everyone if you forget about your friend. The little goddess is mine now. <laughs> hmm. 
my master may have perished in this age, but in the past he lives yet. Taking the girl back through that gate to help me revive the Demon King. You've been so adorably dogged in your quest to get in my way, and as much as I, it has delighted me, I can no longer tolerate you nipping at my heels. You know, boy, you've really pushed me too far. The moment I've sweated and bled for is at hand. I don't even have time to grind my heel into a worm like you. Not now. Stand down. You're in my way. And the sight of your appealing... <laughs> your appalling hair makes my gorge rise. Can't have that. His appealing hair makes his gorge rise. done a fine job of spoiling my plans to revive the Demon King in this age, so I see no point in dawdling here. But the past, oh, the past, so full of possibilities, I shall resurrect him there with the divine soul of this golden-haired girl. Well, I can't get in. So I'll just live out the rest of my days in Skyloft in peace. I thought that was a glitch. Do you remember when the Maidens were captured in Link to the Past? And they just did some weird rituals on them to extract their power? Is that what this guy's doing right now, this fucking weirdo? Why not just snap your finger and leave up that barrier forever? I guess Girahim's not even that powerful. Confirmed. Girahim... Babi. When Girahim puts me in baby jail, maybe I'll stop them. Gary, get over here. Where the fuck is Gary? Where the fuck is Gary? You're far too quick, boy. You should take some ginkgo biloma root. I realize that a simple child... Like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this can take time in a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy? You petulant brat. You've pushed me too far. I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment. You know what? Fine. If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way. This time, there will be no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before, but I won't make that mistake again. That, I promise. That, I promise. That, I promise.
square magic. The most powerful of all the magics. If only I'd put you in your place from the very beginning. Show a human a little mercy. Next thing you know, he thinks himself your equal. Given my station, I have to maintain some semblance of dignity, so I let you run with your life. Twice even! Such a guilty pleasure! But instead of scurrying away like any creature with basic instinct to survive, you kept coming back again and again and again! I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time. You stand before a demon, or should I say a weapon without mercy? Oh, thematically, he's a sword. For you, boy, I've prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a pet name for it. I'll call it the Endless Plunge. First, I will take my time bludgeoning you. When I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. I'll delight in casting your body into this pit, snuffing out the flame of your life. Your broken body will serve as a fine sustenance for the Demon King. That's not nice. Oh, that's how you do this. <laughs> Can you be dead now? Feel metal man, you wretched bitch. I mean, brat. Oh, you think you're cloud now? Ooh. Ooh. I think I got him. There were so many times I was trying to use the sword, and it was just moving Link's arm a little. This... this is preposterous! Driven to my knees by a simple child of man! Laughable! No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail! You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win? Boy, what are you? Never mind that. Victory is still mine to save her. While we fought the ritual I started continued. At last it's complete. The Demon King shall devour the soul of the goddess and resurrect in his full glory. No! It's not that scary, dog. See it? It's all over. You and your kind have lost. This voice is getting wacky. This world and everything in it now belongs to darkness. They belong to my master.
Master. So here's Demise, aka Proto Ganondorf. Just pure evil, I guess. Welcome back to us, Master. I feel like one day someone at Nintendo was like, people look like swords. And they were like, that's genius, we have our new game. So I do remember this fight, and I remember kind of how to do it, but also I remember it being a huge pain in the ass, and without the Hylian shield, this would have been a nightmare, I think. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm remembering correctly. Sorry for this voice, but this is what I'm going to be doing. The goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic. This bag of flesh pales in comparison to the magnificence of her previous form. the Shasta sword, if this is the master sword. Don't worry, Link! Bruce has got this! <sighs> Link, I, I caught her. She's okay. Do it anymore, I'm sorry. How curious. The humans I've known were weak things, hardly more than insects, shriveling under rocks and ready to flee at the mere glimpse of me. Hmm, maybe somewhere in between the two. When last I walked this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their goddess, mewling and praying, counting on her to protect them. How amusing to think those cowards begot someone like you. It's like Jaws is gonna show up. You grow more fascinating by the second human. I never imagined I'd meet one of your kind who wished to stand against me in battle. Very well then, I shall prepare a place for us where we will not be bothered by distractions. If you still have the courage to face me, seek me there. Link, it's all on you! Oh, and listen up, Granny had some info for you! The old girl says it'll take time for the Grease Wad to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If you can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that thing, you might still have a chance. I know you can do it. So yeah, you, you gotta do this! You're all Zelda's got! You gotta make this happen.
If you fear for your life, do not follow me. You can spend what little time your world has left cowering and crying as befits your kind. But if you truly desire to raise your blade against the world I would build, come for me. I've waited eons to return. I can spare a few more moments to let you decide. Supreme confidence. It's up to you now, Link. <laughs> ah, so you've decided to meet your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced valor, human. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. You know, this guy's a real jerk. The hate for the gods that has boiled in my veins. You will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. The only question left is how long I will manage to remain standing. Or you will manage to... You will manage to remain standing before I take your life. Try to keep it interesting for me, would you? And when you do fall, know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. I can't do a voice for this dude, look at him! When I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing your friends and kin will soon follow as I wipe all who oppose me from the face of this world. There's that classic music sting. Won't be long now. Last, the almighty power I've sought for millennia. I will take the Triforce for my own. And the world shall be under my foot for eternity. I feel like maybe not having him speak at all would have been more powerful. Didn't they do that in Calamity? In uh, Breath of the Wild? can always get like one hit in before he does the sword strike just jiggles off of his abs no see I keep pressing the block button but I'm mid sword animation like that hmm Not dead yet. Damn it! Two blocks there. Ah! And then again, oh my god! All right. All right. Oh, what now? I'm invincible, son. Ooh. Still invincible. It's a little anticlimactic when you have a literal invincibility potion at your disposal. Uh. 
Is that it then? Well, I remember struggling with this fight for like a long ass time. I guess I didn't have an invincibility potion at the time, but... Wow, okay. It, it's not a Dark Soul. If that was, in fact, the end. Maybe there's more. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I've ever known. So this is not the end. My hate never perishes. It is born anew in a cycle with no end. I will rise again! And his name will be... John S ja Ganondorf. John Ganondorf. Those like you who share the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero, they are eternally bound to this curse. An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood-soaked sea of darkness for all time. So, also, I think because I was able to attack so fast because of the controller, I was able to, like, get a lot more hits in. Because I don't think I'm particularly good at this game. Like, I missed a lot of blocks. But, that went very quick. That, and I, I remember ten years ago not knowing that I had to do the Skyward Strike at first. I've confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword and is now sealed away. I didn't even know that was coming. I really didn't. Ah, uh, it didn't do the full... It's just a variation of it. <laughs> and the Master Sword sleeps forever. Until the next time. Well, having experienced the whole game again, and having not remembered a lot of the original, um... Yeah, it's good. Thank you especially for your patience with this playthrough taking so long. And, uh, thank you for watching all these parts. I, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed somewhat. So take care, and uh, here's the post credit scene. This is where I think um, Iron Man shows up, and they, they tease the MCU, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wow, little birds! Man, I only ever see the big ones! Bruce's bird putting in the work with that dumpy. Again, undercutting emotional moments with nonsense. <laughs> the 
look around us. As a child, I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. I think I want to live here. I always want to feel the solid ground beneath my feet, see the clouds above my head and watch over the Triforce. What about you, Link? What will you do now? I don't know. Plumbing. Maybe, like, put the Triforce behind a sheet? So, like, people can't just grab it? Or see it? From, like, a mile away? The end. Congratulations. You have six zero.